Hey everybody, welcome to Watching This Dark. I'm your host, Dave Garrett, and we're going to be talking about Ice and Fire and if you should try it or play it. First off, let's start with some of the pros. It's cheap. It's about $100 for Starbucks, $35 for every unit, $35 for a box of five characters. In comparison, it's about $45 for a single character in 40k. They do a little bit less in this game, but you get much more of them and can take more of them for roughly the same amount of points as in 40k. Um, other upsides is uh, this box, the $100 star boxes for any of the army gives you full movement templates, measuring sticks, all of the tokens you need to play a game, all of the cards you need to play a game, including objective markers, everything that you could possibly want to basically start playing immediately. And it all comes built. Uh, it's not painted. You do have to paint it yourself, which is fine. And that a lot of people love that. Uh, downsides is it's a rank and file game and either you love that or you hate that. Uh, and even then it is a turn based or a play or alternate activation game. Unlike 40k, which is turn based where you, you do your whole turn. I do my whole turn. This is back and forth interaction. So you're both constantly doing something. Another pro is the game short Lasts about an hour. Once you get good at it, which only takes about two to three games, it takes about two hours when you're learning. Uh, but if you are on the fence about trying Ice and Fire, I highly recommend you pick up a two-player star box or just pick up two of the star boxes you and a friend and you guys play some games. This isn't my favorite game of all time, but man, is it up there in the enjoyability that I have with my friends and everything. And you can go super hard combo -y where you have like three or one activation leads to like three or four really cool abilities and interactions like Lancers have it, Dothraki, basically every arm in the game does that way the balance isn't the best in this game but all of the rules are free and you can make a game out of if you're willing to put in the effort i don't think any i think a lot of this game is based off player skill i don't think it's necessarily based off your list you can do some powerful things in the game but that's not going to decide the outcome well thank you have a good one i'll see you guys in the next one